Hey kids, how you guys doing? I know, I know, I know you don't see Miss Nastashi. She's not here. But can you pray for her? Yes, because I'm praying for her. But we are going to have a great time today because I get an opportunity to continue what we've been talking about, indescribable. Do you know some of the things we've been talking about, about indescribable? A God that is indescribable, creativity, who you are. We serve an amazing God. And as we continue this beautiful series about God and being indescribable, guess what? We're gonna learn more today because this story, when I read it, I was like, yo, this is so, so dope. Like, kingdom kids, dope, right? Say, look at yourself and say, I am, that's right, cool. And yes, you are. I'm so excited because not only are you watching this channel, but because you are a part of kingdom kids and God loves you. Yes, you. So while you understand and while you know that God loves you, I want you to do one thing. Click that like button, click that subscribe button, and click that notification so that every time, every week that we come on, we want you to tune in to Kingdom Kids. But enough of that. Let's get into this amazing word that God has for you this week. And guess I'm like, when I was reading this story, I was like, man, hmm, it is so awesome to have friends. Do you have friends? Nod your head. Yes, I know you have friends. Do you miss your friends? I know you miss your friends. And I know some of you have been doing virtual learning. Has it been doing any good for you? because I know sometimes virtual learning can be hard, but in this season, it can also make you want to miss your friends. And friends are so important. Friends are people who you connect with, who you laugh with, tell jokes with, tell secrets to, have fun with. Friends are so important. But today, we get to talk about the help of a friend, and not just a friend, but many friends. But the first friend that we do have is Jesus. If you know Jesus is your friend, just lift your hands and say, Mr. Ramsey, in the chat, comment and say, I have friends and Jesus is my friend. Yes, Jesus is your friend. But I wanna talk about this story. There's a unique story in the Bible. I mean, there's a cool story that we're gonna read here. And if you have your Bible, pull out your Bible. If you have your tablet, pull out your tablet. If you have your parents' phone, put it on silent and go into the Bible app. And I want you to put it in Mark chapter two. Cause we're gonna read one through 12 because I wanna share this story with you of the importance of the type of friends that you should really, really, really consider having. Because friends are so important. Some friends are boring. Some friends are fun. Some friends are a little weird. Yes, but some friends are cool. <laughs> but Jesus, he fits it all. But in this story, we're going to be talking about a man who was lame. He was not able to walk. But all of a sudden, Jesus, who, who performed miracles, who, who healed the sick, here he comes into a town called Capernaum. Everybody say Capernaum. Capernaum. Say it on the screen. Capernaum. Say it again. Capernaum goes into this town, and guess what? We're gonna read about it now. It says here in Mark chapter two, a few days later, 
when Jesus again entered Capernaum, the people heard that he had come home. They gathered in such a large numbers that there was no room left, not even outside the door. And he preached the word to them. Some men came bringing to him a paralyzed man, carried by four of them. Since they could not get him to Jesus because of the crowd, they made an opening in the roof above Jesus by digging through it and then lowered the mat the man was lying on. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralyzed man, son, your sins are forgiven. Now, some teachers of the law were sitting there thinking to themselves, but isn't it interesting? There's a guy who cannot walk. He's been like that for a very long time. And all of a sudden, Jesus is in this house and the house is filled with people. So I want you to do one thing. I want you to stop for a second, close your eyes, and I want you to think about you being in that room. Close your eyes, close your eyes. Just tell me in the comments, what are you hearing? What are you seeing? What is moving around you? Keep closing your eyes, think about it, because we gotta think about this situation. Jesus is in this house. There's so many people, people outside the door, there's people walking around. People are talking because they seen Jesus perform miracles. They see Jesus uh, uh, heal the sick. They seen Jesus talk the way he was talking. And all of a sudden, here is four men who grabbed this guy who was lame, meaning that he was not able to walk. He was paralyzed. And being paralyzed, he could not move. He was stuck somewhere, but he wanted to be healed by Jesus. He heard of Jesus, but he couldn't hear, but he couldn't get to Jesus. He heard of Jesus, but he couldn't get to Jesus. Why? Why, kids? Because he was paralyzed. He couldn't move, but all of a sudden, Four men came to carry him. Now, when they got to this house, there were so many people around the house, outside and inside the house. There wasn't even enough space for them to walk him to Jesus to get healed. But you know what those four friends did? They began to go on. Let me tell you a secret. Come closer. Come closer. They began to go on top of the roof. Yes, the roof. Look up at your house. Look up. That's the roof up top. Can you imagine them carrying this guy who was paralyzed to the top of the roof to bring him down so that he can be healed by Jesus? This is what they did. There were four friends. This is why friends are so important. When you're down, friends should be able to uplift you. They should be able to make you smile. When you're dealing with a situation where you feel like you're not capable of doing something, your friends should look like these friends who carried this guy who was paralyzed. They were not afraid to do whatever it took for them to get him to Jesus for healing. What type of friends do you have? But isn't it amazing that God created these friends to help this paralyzed guy to get to Jesus? It's important for you as a friend to help your friends in whatever situation that they're dealing with. Maybe you can just say, hey, good morning. Maybe that puts a smile on their face. Maybe you can help your friends to be the best part of themselves by reminding them why God created them. 
maybe you could be that one friend to help carry your friends out of a situation that can draw them closer to Jesus. There is so much more that we learn in this story. Friends are more than just, how can I say this? Friends are more than just playing around together. To have friends means to have people around you who are gonna make you better. Because you had these four guys, these four men, who wanted the best for this guy who was paralyzed. And you know what's the most amazing part about this story? Is that they help him to get healed by Jesus. Because they were not afraid to carry their friend to the top of the roof. They were not afraid to create a way for their friend to get to Jesus. What are you afraid of as a friend? Because you shouldn't be afraid to helping your friend to get better. What could you do to help your friend to be a better, to be a better person? When you see that they're down, what can you and your other friends do together to help your friend see what God has created in him or her? God created us for each other. And this is what I want you to understand. That the God that we serve, he didn't create a friend just for you, but he created a friend for all your other friends to help you and to make you a better person. So whatever you do when you're in school, if you see that person down, go grab some of your other friends and put a smile on their face. Or maybe you might be that person that, you know what, Mr. Ramsey? My friends, those were not real friends. Maybe God is talking to you and telling you these are the type of friends that you want. Friends that's going to help you to get to that place that's gonna make you better. Because that's what God wants for you. And I want you to say this prayer as we close. And repeat after me, bow your head and say, Dear God, you've given us creativity and imagination and talents and skills. And we know you made us to use those things together. It's much more fun to work with others and we can create so much more together. Help us look for ways to work with others. We want to share your love as we find ways to help other people together. We love you and we ask these things in Jesus' name, amen. See you guys next week. And don't forget, God created you to work with others, just like the four men who helped the guy who was paralyzed to get to Jesus. Use your creativity. Find a way to open that roof. Use your imagination. Find a way to, 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 to use the ideas God has given you to help others to get to that place where Jesus is, to get to that place of joy, peace, and strength because God knows you can do it and he's created you just for you.